What is going on everybody? God bless you. Another week, another video. Uh, thank you for all those who have been supporting along this way, watching all the videos and all that good stuff that I've been dropping. Thank you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you mm, give an uppercut to that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified on new videos that I'm gonna drop on a weekly basis. I'm excited about this. I'm pretty hyped about it. Uh, but with that being said, today, we're gonna be talking about the Rode Wireless Go microphone. If you're a creative, if you're a person, you know, who's, who's filming, doing interviews, and you know, all, doing all that cool stuff, this one is good for you. Um, I had a previous video, maybe a couple of months ago, when the Wireless Go 1 came out. It was pretty dope. Uh, Rode is always doing some great things. So today, I wanna talk to you about the new version, Wireless Go 2, and why 2, is better than one. Let's get into it. Woo. All right, here we go. Listen, we got the wireless go to. I, I opened it up a little bit. I got excited once the box came from Adorama. It was actually the box was kind of looking kind of busted and I was kind of worried. That's why I opened it up because it looked all crushed and maybe you can see it. But, you know, I didn't like the way it looked and I'm, I'm into boxes and stuff like that. But anyways. I'm gonna open it up because I have a feeling it just, you know, it looks similar to, to version one, but I'm gonna be opening it up for the first time, taking everything out. I didn't take it out, I promise. Um, I just opened it up just to view it inside. So we start off with their little protective baggage packaging that they got. So you can put the, um, the wireless go microphones away. Um, if you look at the first one, the first one is tiny, small, but two of them fit in here. Uh, not two microphones, just a transmitter and the receiver was in this one. So if you compare the two actually, look at this, it's double, right? It's like two of them. Split in half, but it's a little bit bigger, longer. Uh, maybe this could have been a little bit better and um, maybe instead of, you know, it being, it could have been vertical or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, let's go into this stuff, man. So. The wireless go microphone, um, just to give you a, 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 an overview, right? It's it's one of Rode's um, mics that they did for um, for cameras, right? For DSLR cameras and whatnot. And it's a, a wireless receiver with a transmitter. Um, so you're pretty much basically wireless, just like I'm doing right now. Right now, my audio is currently uh, set up with the Rode Mic Wireless Go, uh, the first version. Um, it's pretty much this right here, right? And then as I had it, right, it was, it was a dope device. I got some videos like with my experience on it. I, why not do an ultimate test and go to Times Square? This is where we're at. We're on the top here in the middle of Times Square testing out the wireless Rode mic Go. If you can hear right now, and my voice is clear, then it's doing a great job. I was in New York City, a um, bunch of noise, people in Times Square, bef uh, you know, pre-COVID, and it was noisy out there, and you can hear the audio there. If you wanna check that video, I'll have it up also um, on the top. But I'm using it right now with a Rode lav mic connected to it. Um, they're, they're cool, it's, it's, a, it's a dope device, but this time, look at this. Packaging, kind of cool. So it looks, looks pretty much the same, right? Uh, okay, we're gonna talk about that because it was something that came up. But look at this. So this is this is what it is, right? So these are the two mics, right? So now with the new wireless go two, they give you two mics instead of one, and then one um, transmitter, right? So you got the transmitter, the receiver. Um, and it sends out your audio signal from your camera. Um, it sends audio to your camera with these microphones that are, you know, 
uh, attached to, to anything. You can literally connect this to your mobile phones, your tablets, and you know, grab audio from there as well. But that's why they're so cool, because they're so small, compact, they're, they're tiny. These things are freaking amazing. Like the way Rode did this product was so good. And that's why I'm so excited that they actually did this model. Um, because I came across a hurdle, not that there was anything wrong with the Rode Wireless Go 1. It was just that I, as I started doing videos, I started doing my interviews for my coffee breaks. And, um, uh, when I was doing the coffee break episodes, I was realizing that I only had one mic and then I had a Rode mic, uh, pro and that was, it's almost like a boom mic. And I was using that as like a secondary mic, you know, to catch. So it was, it was, it was, a. It was some little tweaks I had to do there to get it going, but my whole goal was to just get the audio from 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 myself and from the person I was interviewing instead of having something a microphone on the on the table or whatnot, whatever. I just didn't like the process. But Rode came out with these, so now with one transmitter, right, and the receiver, and with with two microphones and the transmitter, right, now I can just mic up two individual people including myself, right? So if I'm gonna be doing the interview, I'll mic myself and then I'll mic the person I'm interviewing and boom, all the both audios are going straight directly into the camera, right? So I'm not just picking up one audio uh, with one wireless, one wireless go and then I'm picking up the audio from the phone, which is good because you have two separate audio uh, uh, channels, which is it's totally fine, but you're pretty much doing the same thing with these. It just, for me, it's just a lot easier. It's a quick setup so you can get yourself going. Um, and it's an easy way to get two people, to get audio from two people, right? So you don't have to, you know, set up all these other rigs and stuff like that. Just put one on your camera and two mics on the people you're gonna be working with, right? The ones you wanna get audio from. It's just simple as that. If you don't have a lav mic like I'm using now, which you can connect right into this microphone jack here, plug it in, boom, and then you got your, you know, lapel type lav. You could do that, or you could just literally just clip it onto yourself and it's gonna pick up the audio. It's totally fine. I don't, I don't dig this too much because it's kind of, kind of big for a setup like this unless you're gonna, you know, hide it pretty nicely. But you know what, for me, I like to get the lav, plug them in there. It's nice and simple, nice and clean. Um, but it looks the same, it's pretty much the same. So if you see my previous Wireless Go video, it's pretty much the same, just that they're just giving you two, which is good. So if you haven't bought one yet and you're looking to you know, get the Wireless Go, you might as well get the Wireless Go uh, two. So you can get two mics, one transmitter and you're good to go right um so the transmitter is pretty much the same you got these like miniature dead cats so if you are going to use the microphone itself it has a dead cat to put it for like wind uh, wind noise and whatnot we're going to talk about this in a second uh look at this so the let's take it out what do we got All right this is the receiver it's simple and I like it because they're all type C for charging it all type C and road provides the type C cables you just need the brick that's about it plug it into the wall um, but here we got the, the microphone this is your receiver here USB type C power it on that's let, let me let me, let me see if it got if it has power okay it does have power turns out really nice look at you can see there i don't know if you said but but i'll show you some it got the the channels one and two so you can see mic one and mic two you can see the levels of mic one and two you can see the battery indicator for mic one and two which is so good and then you can just bridge the connections um if you, if you see here it has like a little uh chain icon where you can bridge the two so you can actually get you know the two audio devices simultaneously um, or you can just separate them, which is cool that they give you that option. It's so good. Um, I'm telling you, Rode makes some amazing devices. I haven't been disappointed with not one device yet. And to be honest, their customer support is A1. And I'm big with customer support. If you have good customer support, man, you have my loyalty. Because the worst thing is to have a device, you get some problems with it, 
it's, it's messing up on you and then you reach out to support and it's like freaking a horrible experience. They've always replied to my emails, my tweets and all that good stuff. And, and they're, they're just good to work with, to be honest. Before I forget, just, just like one, right? You get your cables. People are probably gonna ask me, but where are the cables? You do get the cables, right? You get your, um, your USB type C cables. They're all here, right? You get your booklet, instructions, and you get your TRS cable for your camera. One into the receiver and the other one into your camera. Bingo. I love them. I can't wait to start testing them out and using them in, uh, in, in, uh, in, on, in live, you know, testing environments for my coffee break episodes. If you haven't seen my coffee break episodes, go check them out. I'm going to have them up here as well. Um, I'm already on season one. All 10 videos are up season one and I'm working on season two, but I'm excited that I was able to, to get these bad boys in. I got a trip coming up uh, this weekend and I'm excited about that. Stay tuned because I'm going to be in a cool place. I'm going to be interviewing some cool people. Uh, so stay tuned for that, man, because it's going to be dope. Um, and I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be using these. So if you want to see the real life test, I'm going to be using these. Uh, going now to these little dead cats, right? Um, these things, when they, let me see, do I have them? Yes, I do. So in version one, you're going to see right here, they have two little white, you know, markers there, right? Because in version one, I'm gonna show you here, uh, can't show you version one, but in version one, it was pretty much like a, a clip-on. So you, as long as you get the little white indicators, you know, into the little gaps, the grommets that were on the mic right here on the side, it just clipped on. But there was an issue with them, right? Um, some people say they didn't have any issues with them. Some people were saying it was just fine but there was others that said there was an issue with them. And for the fact that Rode actually made new ones, just lets me know that there was an issue and there was probably more people complaining about it versus people that were saying that it was okay. Um, but there was an issue with them that where you would clip them in, any type of subtle movement, these things were just, you know, it was just popping off. Um, unless you were like really like looking at it and sticking it in right there and Mm, getting a secure connection. But even with that, you would just shake it up a little bit and it would pop right off. Now, Rode did these twist, like a, a locking system here. The same thing, they didn't have, that's why they, they were still able to keep the nice sleekness and the microphone almost the exact same position as the, the first one. What they did was though, in the front of this mic, I don't know if you see these arrows with like rotation indicators, right? So you just press it on, twist, and lock it. That's it. There, it's locking in there. You, it's really easy. It's not complicated. You just press it right in, twist, lock it, and boom. Look it. If I would do this with version one, it was definitely gonna fall off. So Rode, thank you for upgrading the little dead cats. Um, these little, you know, wind, nice and soft. I think they're a little bit different too. It's like even the the material feels a little bit different. Um, but anyways. Road, thank you for doing that. So you just twist it again and you pull it right out. They come with, how many, how many did they come with? Two of them. Uh, actually, they came with three of them. Look at that. So this is good. They came with three of them, just in case I'm pretty sure if you lose one, you have another one, you have another spare. Um, there it is, the Rode Wireless Go 2. They came out a few months ago. Um, I haven't been able to get my hands on them. You know, I've been doing a lot of other stuff, but I'm finally, you know, excited about it that I was able to, to pick it up, get them, and now use them for my new trip. Um, like I said, if you're, you know, looking to buy the Rode Wireless Go and you, you want to get, you know, the version one, to be honest, you might as well just spend a little bit more and get version two. You're going to get two, and two is always better than one because that way, even if you interview just one person, right, it's fine. It's still going to work you're still gonna get that first channel signal there and you're just gonna get the audio from them. But if you're in a situation where you're like, oh man, I gotta get somebody else connected or I gotta, you know, I would like to get the audio from this person or I don't know, some audio, another audio, you always have a second one. Now I have a third one, 
Um, I won't obviously be able to connect all three of them, but I can connect it with a mobile device and, and have it a wireless signal setup in that case. So I'm glad I even got version one. Um, I can see the comparisons here and it's, it's a small but big difference at the same time, if that, if that makes sense. It's, it's, they're, they're, it's a, they're, they're small, subtle changes, but they work so great. And I'm, I'm glad that they were able to, to do it this way. Um, I'm gonna turn this off. It's pretty much the same, same setup. Same setup as version one. If you've seen, like I said, my video one, you're gonna see that it's the same setup. So here you go. Wireless Go version two. Two is better than one. I hope you liked the video. I hope you were informed. Um, this is what you get in your in your box. You get the you get the two mics. You get the receiver. Um, you get a nice little OLED display in the front there, letting you know you know all your levels and indicators. You get a nice little case with it, so you can put it away, throw it in your bag, and and boom, you're ready to go. So there it is. The Rode Wireless Go 2, hands-on experience. Again, these I purchased them myself. All my products I purchase them myself and I give my honest review on them. If it sucks, I'll tell you it sucks. If they're great, it's great. If it's for you, I'll let you know if it's for you. Um, but if you got any comments, let me know. Engage with me on, on the comments section and just let me know what you think about it. If you bought them, if you already have them, how has your experience been? Are you loving it? Is, is it okay? Like, tell me, you know, what kind of rigs you're doing with it. Um, there's a lot of people doing all kind of cool stuff. Uh, I, I know Caleb did, did some really cool things, um, uh, which is on another channel that, 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 I, that I follow. Um, and I'll have his uh, a video if you want to check him out as well. He's done some cool rigs with the Rode Wireless Go 1 when the first one came out. Um, so, listen, this is it. It's very simple. And I think they're awesome devices. So if you could get your hands on one, get your hands on one. And like every video, never settle with being good when you have been meant to be great. So we'll just see you in the next one. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, so like that we could keep this, you know, this YouTube algorithm going because it's gonna help the channel a lot. Thank you, thank you, God bless you. Never settle with being good when you have always been meant to be great. Later.